I too um, want to wish every minister and the Taoiseach the very, very best. Uh, uh, as I, I won't be supporting them in the vote, if there's a vote call, but I wish them well, personally. And as I said in the holy season of Lent, again today, wish them all a happy and holy, peaceful Christmas to everybody in this house, staff and everybody else, and our uh, families at home. Uh, look, can I say today's announcement of the game of musical ch uh, chairs, where the self-interest of every government TD is prioritised, incompetence gets rewarded. Not a single minister is ever held accountable for not delivering on any of the form of the wrongdoing or wasteful spending of taxpayers' money. We look at the legacy of the Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable scandal. And sick children waiting for all kinds of uh, procedures and to build it in the wrong place and to have so long. And your Taoiseach said to be built and open 2020 for, I think, seven, 800 million or something. You knew it would never happen, but you wanted to announce the site, and you did announce the site. So it's a shocking indictment. For, and we talk about children, you, both, you all referred to them this evening. Minister Ryan referred to the young people with gusto taking up the TII ruling. What else will they take? They don't have the dirt, bad. They don't have the, uh, the, the, the Lewis. They don't have anything. You told them they can all live in the country with, with the 10 cars placed in the village, they could carpool. And you've been invited by many of us down. I'm written personally against you. You know Tipper really well. Your ancestors came from there. To see the hills of Hollyford and the hills of, Kin of Killinall and indeed in West Cork, where Deputy Collins represents and, many, and the hilly rays. I mean, the, the, just sheer inaccessibility for young people. They have to have a care. Otherwise, they can't go to college, they can't go to work, they can't go anywhere. And you, you tell them to take up with gusto. Of course they will, because they take anything up. If, 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 if my colleague from Waterford came along with his, with his cargo bike, and we're good friends, and he did two or three and jump into the front of the cargo, they go anywhere to get somewhere, because they can't go anywhere. They're just forgotten about. Our young people have been left behind in every which way. And I had two or three uh, nurses in my office last week getting farm stamped, heading off to Australia. Qualified people, young people, the life ahead of them. And that's what's wrong. And as I said, I spent some time in Vincent's recently, at St. Vincent's Hospital in Dublin. I got excellent, excellent care in the public hospital. And I want to put that on record. And the vast majority of the staff were from India and elsewhere, but the nurses and all the rest, but they were just tremendous. But we're just in a, a, a brain drain and a swap around. And we have cases where nurses, I have a nurse at the moment, back from Australia, qualified. And I'm making it so difficult for her uh, Joanna's her name, to get, to get on back to register as a nurse. Now, we're crying out for them. And nurses like, run and, uh, ran off their feet trying to keep uh, wards and everything else uh, committed. And why? And she's been told if she was from, if she was from, from her, the agencies from India or wherever, they know about it, straight in. She has to go through an arduous pr 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 procedure. So this country is tied up in bureaucracy. And with three nice speeches there, ambitious speeches from the three new leaders. I said today it was like Lannigan's ball. It'll be Hannigan's wake if we're not careful for a lot of people. And we, all we want is the snuff. And so much to do the Queen Tecon. They're painted them here as well. Or the Keenicon, as Michal Martin would, would, would know the proper Irish spelling. And plenty of them as well. Or the Green Reapers will be coming. Because you're just squeezing the light blood out of people. You're not allowing And the Irish people are energetic. And I'm not going to knock them. They're energetic, enthusiastic, and vibrant. Like the leaders were in 16 and 21 and 22. And we look forward to commemorating, uh, and you can uh, tarnish uh, now to Tipperary to give the oration for Liam Lynch. We have the 100th anniversary in April. And we look forward to commemorating uh, the, the, the leader of the Irish Republican Army who lost his life in the Knockman Down Mountain, close to where my homestead is. And we look forward to it. But it's been embarrassment. I stood out in the backyard last week celebrating the. The, 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 I said, well back, celebrating the free state, because the issues of what happened there, and they, they linger with me, but apart from that, we don't deserve to have the honour of celebrating, because we're not fulfilling the roles and the aims and objectives that they spilt their, give their lifeblood away for. I talk about Collins, and you're both below Collins's. Such a fast. The two of you are kind of a hybrid. I think Cameron Ryan told you you were a hybrid in this, and it, we'll get the mic every second word. And, um, you know, it was a fascicle. He was spinning in his grave, I'd say, because you don't represent the values of what he gave his life for. All the Republicans. And that's my honest feeling. And that's what people are telling me out on the street, in the, in, 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 in the laneways, and in my clinics. And they must be telling you, unless that your clues are doing to complete, or you wear the earmuffs, or you walk around with the headphones on you, and you don't want to meet anyone. But you'll have to meet them soon enough. And they'll be waiting in the long grass. And the grass is grown in Tipperary, Mr. Ryan. 
and grown well. This process now will settle back a bit, but I believe come back stronger, the roots will be. And we don't, have, we don't need Minister Hackett, as I said earlier, not to allow us even to cut enough holly for the crib. You're talking about reinvigorating transport, or, or forestry. Every farmer that has a 30 year contract, and that's a long contract to wait for your money. And I've said this before, any person who, who, who plants, who plants um, uh, anything, plants potatoes, which my family were renowned for, uh, and the grass buds, anyone that says beet, we haven't had to beet, carrots, I'll get you some of them if you like, some big ones, and, and you know what I mean, I will, of course, and um, they're nice, a bit of butter and salt, they're lovely. And um, anyone, I'm just making the point that anyone that's really into the contract for the forestry and planted in good faith into the schemes, they have a bitter, bitter, bitter taste. And they never again go a tree. Or anyone belong to mother neighbours because they can't get the licence to cut their... Why should they have to get a licence? You reap what you sow. By God, you'll reap what you sow too. <laughs> and that day isn't far away either, but... Shinsuke Lilla. But they plant the trees, you should be allowed to cut them. And uh, timber factories and industries try, trying out, and the price of timber going up because we have to import it. It's a mockery that we can't go through this. And we've got any legislation here, which I actually voted against. My colleagues were annoyed with me. They said, any legislation is better than none. That was bad legislation. It was useless, tooteless, and fruitless. And it hasn't, perf hasn't delivered, and it won't deliver. So I'm just saying to you, hospital waiting lists, the housing lists. If you had, the, look, look, we're a wealthy country. If you had, oh, sorry, I've been present by my max, if you got permission from your masters in Europe, but if you had then had the gumption to stand up to them and had the interest in building the houses, God damn it, um, um, uh, tarnished, uh, they built them and the, your party was proud record of building houses in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. And the naughties, when people got naughty all over the place and they wanted money, money, money. Yeah, big. But when, had, when they went off and had these trucks from Art Finnan, and now they'd be, I don't know how they'd be travelling if Emma Ryan was there, but in the back of a lorry, 40 men in the cold, and they know just for them sitting down to get Kenny into the climate, building schemes of houses under Fianna Fáil governments. And we've failed spectacularly to build them. And bureaucracy, now we talk about changing planning laws. Minister Ryan is talking about, uh, uh, was it 10% or 10 fold increase on the amount of renewables? So listen, we've heard it all before. It's so far away, Minister, and I want renewables, and I want uh, um, um, renewable energy and wind energy and, 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 and solar energy and, and wind from the wave power. When is it going to happen? I mean, it's all tied up in knots and reams and the mandarins and the departments. And your friends in Antashka, you're talking about stopping people objecting. No mention of Antashka, the biggest quango of all, that held up a factory in County Kilkenny and Former teacher did call him out in the door here one day and replied to me, and the factory is under construction now, thank God. They had no issues with the plant or the emissions or anything else, but they had a fundamental idea that we had too many cows. So they stop a plant given 200 high quality jobs. We we're so lucky to hold on to the, to the Dutch farm, the cheese farm, you know, they were doing it. So listen, think. Well, you divide the cabinet up into subcommittees and just think and get things moving because they're not moving. They're moving in your heads. You're moving paper from office to office and you're back and forward and over and header and nothing happening. From Billy to Tom to Ned to Jack to Mary. And now you have the new whip. I wish her well too, but I look forward to work when I worked with all the whips. So I don't know how hard she'll be to wave the whip, but I wish her well. And I thank Jack Chambers when he was whipped because we cooperate on many issues. But look, if you want support, it'll be from the side of the house, but you have to have meaningful, realistic policies. Not Balderdash and Poppy with schemes like putting south, uh, setting, uh, whatever you said to set in the south facing windows. God, I did be fairly well perished tonight in the south facing windows in the last week. And I'll go back to climate change and i finish. And I'm not a climate change denier. But I said it here last week and I say it again. I remember breaking ice with my sister 40 years, 50, 40 for eight years ago for the cows to drink the water in the pond. We had to break it with a sledge. So we had, to, we had climate change always. So now it's all about control of the people. It's an absolute con job. You just want to frighten the people and the poor misfortunate people out there now uh, tonight in their homes. They can't heat their homes. Farm stations, farm stations button in again. They don't know when to turn off, get a different dial, can't you? Dial into some Algerians or somebody that you're supporting. You were supporting Russia a few years ago. You were supporting Russia a few years ago. Thank you.
thank you. I didn't interrupt them. So, I mean, look, you're controlling the people. They can't heat themselves tonight in their homes. The price of heat, home heat tonight, and carbon tax on top of it then. Such a time to put on carbon tax when people were under pressure anyway. And like the oil crisis, we've seen now the prices are down, thankfully, and there's a bit of relief. So there is controls there, and you had a toolbox given to you from your masters in Europe, and you wouldn't open the damn thing and use the tools inside it. So listen, I say to you too, everyone's calling for election. I'm not looking for election, Come like Santa Claus voting for Christmas. But I don't believe you're Santa Claus because, we, first of all, we can't get the holly for the crib, and I know what you'd no, have no, in no. the little presents under the Christmas tree, they'd be very scarce. And bus, no, uh, bus no, no, no. Uh, uh, full of, I'd say, be inside. With a bit of wrapping paper. Not Might not need me Christmas style. Gormakun.